Hey guys, this is Spark Plus Ultra here, and this is my part two on what if Deku had a Suin Zorua powers. A new home. Zuku Midoriya was sleeping and under the trank. And the Professor I B says Huh, it's amazing how he can tuck he fought that trank. Hmm, my best guess was that was enough to put down a Wolverine. Seriously? Sorry, Roki. Ask? That's how tough he is? Hmm. Likely stronger. At my best guess. But, let's wait t until he looks up. Then, changing the night. Izuku wakes up. Ugh. Feeling all woozy. Standing up. But his leg, his right leg, keep is feeling pins and needles. Ah, what happened? Ugh. My leg. That damn quirk. That damn guy got me with that. Frank, bite. What the hell? How much they both have? Uh, Zuku is somewhat stumbling and trying to get out of the house. But Toroki opened the door. And Izuku goes in to his fighting stand. And Shadow looks at him and says, Oh, you're awake. And Izuku, in a weird thinking, What the hell are they gonna do? make me do and Shadow says um can you put some clothes on looking away and Masuku notice uh, you uh, fine then Getting his kimono from Shoto and dressing himself up and still feeling the leg numb and Zuku says Why are you here? Why did you take me to here? And Shoto says to ask Professor Ivy wants questions for you. And I'm and she's not the only one. And as a go says, why should I? Because your leg is obviously numb and I can keep you in place for and move you how can you do that like this using her eyes showing him and freezing the door And Zuku 
surprise and says, fine. Both Izuku and Shoto go to Professor Ivy. Jeez. My blood. It's like I've been hit by three tranks of knockout pills. Huh. So you so you do know some things about tranks. Yeah. Those guys kept shooting me with tranks. Those bullet ones. But luckily I I used most of my illusions. Huh, so that's why we didn't see the house. Why did you use an illusion? You were on my turf. Huh? Izuku says, I'll show you later. Then, meeting Professor Ivy. Hi, Izuku. Huh? I didn't tell you my name. Uh, you did. You just told us when you were passed out. And Izuku feeling rather calm, like really eased from her words for a second. Huff, <sighs> you won't trick me again. I'm not here to trick you. Calm down. So, why are you here? Why did you make an illusion where we didn't see the house? You were in my turf. Huh. Do you know? I don't know why, but we weren't harming anything. That's why you all say. Looking at her. Then looking at Shadow. It's more easy to show. And tell. Then Azuku made an illusion in the room. And Professor Ivy says, What the? Why are you doing? And Shoto says, I thought we were obviously done with these tricks. This is not a trick. This is my memory. When I was a kid. When I was three. And when Zuku showed then the time has Showing his memories. So, this is when I was this. I was a happy young kid with a good family. But my mom 
was stressed out from my dad's prank during and was dealing with his stupid illusions on the town. The townspeople told uh, my family to go and never step in this town again. We walked in the winter. My dad was a more angry just wants vengeance for those who wanted to get in his way that means his family. Then he said, I am not dealing with this. I will get take the town back from us. And Azumi Inko says, No, that's not how it works. If I do it, you will be paid like the others. Then Inko protects me from my mom protect me from what he was going to do to me. And she used her psychic to collapse the tunnel. Damn. What did you do, bitch? To save son then she levitated me to out of the cage cave and you're done mom and she smiled to me one last time And I was full of painfulness that I can't really process my anger. And Professor Ivy says, I know, I can't always forgive him that, but Sometimes we can relate to it. And looking at Shadow and Shadow surprised on how he, his family, or his dad was more dangerous than hers Professor Ivy says it's okay to be mad or afraid just let me help you hugging Azuku And holding him and Azuko. Tears running from his eyes. And Zuku feeling his face with just his hands. 
Mm. It's finally, finally crying, crying. When he was, when he kept surviving. And Azuka was saying, Why? Why are you being nice? And Ivy says, It's what I'm supposed to do. It's just a Smile. Azuku's illusion has dissipated. They are in the same room. And Azuku hugs Ivy. And Shadow says, You're not the only one who has been like problems. And Mazuka hugs her. The last first time he hugged with compassion. And Shoto hugs him. Then they go to come back and Mizuku was with Professor Ivy and Shoto was dropped off to the her house. And Professor Ivy was wondering why was this quirk not non affected by the Wolverine pranks? And then Professor Ivy took him him to the lab, putting him into bed, and says good night, and says good night. Is it okay? Kissing his forehead, and was and Zuku smiles and finally goes to sleep in the house and meanwhile in the morning Azuku walks wakes up ah what the and surprised on how big the room is. What? What is going on? How? What is this? And Professor Ivy yawns. Good morning, Zuku. Ivy, what is this place? Uh, and closing our eyes and trying to get her head open. Uh, this is my room and lab. 
Huh? Why is it a lab? Are you doing experiments on me? Huh? No. I was putting you to bed. I was wondering why was your quirk that wasn't affected that resistant to the Wolverine cranks. So those, so that was the thing that they shot into me. I guess it was my will. Hmm, interesting. May I cut your cotton swab, my cotton swab, your cheeks? Uh, sure. And Azuku cotton swabs his cheeks and put and gave it to Professor Ivy. Uh, why did you had me to kind of swab my cheeks? Uh, just checking. I'm taking a guess that your quirk allows to you to have the abilities of a fox and have illusions. Uh, yeah? I don't know what you're talking about. In this society, there are 80% quirk users and 20% non-quirk users. You have a quirk, but hasn't been named. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, why did you want the cotton swab thing again? <sighs> to check your DNA. I know it, you were experimenting on me. No, I was checking. This is just a DNA result. Hmm, interesting. The computer says that your quirk allows you to have the ability of the fox and have illusions that are nearly identical to and somewhat realistic to the to the thing that you showed so no wonder I was feeling cold in that illusion hmm interesting I think I would call this the fox illusion quirk just to see you Thanks, Ivy. <laughs> Smiling. Mm, Ivy says, Don't mention it, Zuku. Then, Zuku and Professor Ivy play a game of, of a puzzle. And just to teach Zuku how to play. And she goes to the basics about how puzzles work. Then Zuku sees the puzzles and he got it. All the, and this is a 100 piece set as well. And Professor Ivy says, huh, that took me a while to do it for a while, but you did it in a three or one minute. Is that bad? 
No, it's just impressive. Hmm, let me check your brain. And she sees the brain waves. Impressive. Your IQ is 140. You're smart as a octopus. What's a octopus? An octopus is a one of the smartest sea creatures in the deep. They are known to hunt prey. Huh. Question. What? When did you speak before you told? Um, I think it was then when I was being chased by those guys. Hmm. Then, Professor Ivy and Zuku did some studying and helping and Shoto visit, visits a few times, but then her the incident Shoto hadn't visited to Ivy's Laboratory for about uh, seven years, and Azuku and Professor Ivy have been helping each other in the lab, and Azuku has been staying offline. Meaning he was doing it outside of doing it inside. Meaning school, indoor school. And I hope you like this video and hope you subscribe. See you next time, plus Ultra.